Magneto Special Anodes presents A Wonderful World of Anodes. This can also be named the shortest possible explanation about some components of electrochemistry. Grandma, this is for you, so you don't have to keep questioning what I'm doing with my life. So now that we caught your attention, this is the video which will explain what is an electrode, what is an anode and a cathode, how does MSA make its anodes? So for starters, an electrode, in very general terms, is an electrical conductor which can be used to make contact with a non-metal part of a circuit. This can be any material that conducts electricity, such as copper, zinc, or in our case, titanium. Electrodes can be used for many types of utilities, such as batteries, electrical circuits, and so on. This video, however, is about electrochemical cells, which are related to a lot of industrial processes. Ever thought of how the inside of a tin plate is added to cans? The ones used for soup? Electrochemical processes. How your swimming pool stops bacteria from having a party in it? Electrochemical processes. Or how huge cruise ship surfaces don't corrode with water? Electrochemical processes. Basically, this is like a ninja science. It's everywhere, but you don't know much about it. So now, what is an anode? An anode is half of an electrochemical cell, which itself is comprised of two parts. Each of these halves has an electrode, an electricity conductor, an electrolyte, which is a non-metal, and in 99% of the cases, a liquid, such as in this case, where we'll be taking the electrolyte as water. The anode is the electrode's positive side. The cathode is the negative. The positive side attracts all the negative ions in water and takes all its electrons. The negative side does the opposite. Since this isn't a natural process, we provide energy to get the materials to do what we want them to do. So, in the cells we work with, we provide energy to force these two materials to become an anode and cathode. For example, to produce chlorine, we have NaCl, common salt, which are in water as Na positive and Cl, and we want chlorine, which is Cl2. Ah, but there's a negative there. So Cl2 2 negative wouldn't be a good match, right? But no. This anode is open for business and he wants electrodes. So he takes away the 2 negative from the Cl2. So the chlorine is stable and can go fight against human pee. Well, more like bacteria. Not the most accurate description, but if you want to see the chlorine process in full, Google it. Now, if the anode was just titanium, it would degrade and get smaller and smaller. And this is why Magneto has coatings. This boosts all the processes we want to make while the anode is chilling. We have a lot of different types of coatings with various precious metals all mixed together. So how is a titanium piece coated and how does it gain all those wonderful chemical properties? No, no, don't go away. This is the fun part, unless you were already enjoying, in which case, great, because it gets even better. It all starts with a man and a titanium piece. The man is Marlon. Okay, so Marlon tackles the customer requests at Logistics. He collects the titanium piece at the request of the customer. This titanium piece can come in many different shapes, and depending on what it's for, it is wielded and adjusted in our mechanical department before it starts its journey to become titanium's next top model. But first, surface treatment. The titanium is sent to the ovens where it's driven around like the fine princess it is by Vincent. There's Vincent on his usual pose after a drive well done. This will be in the oven for a while where it will form a layer of titanium oxide, which is easily peeled off and gives the surface a nice texture. So the piece comes out a lovely colour and is then sent to the etching department. Ah, the etching department. One of the few things that makes Gollum's bath in the fires of Mount Doom seem relaxing. The etching is a 90 degrees acid bath, ready to peel off that blue layer and make the surface ready for coating. The etching bath has a few different parts to it. There's the pre-dip bath, the etching bath, the after etching bath, the demi-water, the mystical island bath, and the dryer. Okay, maybe not that one. Oh, and this is Gonzalo. Remember him, he'll be up again. 
Then the coating mixture is prepared and the painters start the job of layering on the coatings to the treated surface and then cure it in the oven. From here, two things can happen. In this case, it's galvanized with platinum. Look, there's Gonzalo and Maiv. But after that, it's off to logistics again, where Marlon and the others make sure to get it to the right hands. Then, depending on the mix of precious metals, it can be used for treating swimming pools, the protection of ships through the ICCP system, or it could be used as an anode for the tin plating process. But for now, that's it. Oh, one more thing. This is Norbert. Norbert works in the technology department, and he just wanted to be in the video. Say goodbye to Norbert.